Welcome to VMI's instructional video for the Viper A Plus, our base model handheld vibration analysis device which we recommend using to check for excessive vibration in machinery so investigation and corrective maintenance can occur before costly breakdowns and equipment failure. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the functions of the device and give users an understanding of the Viper A Plus's capabilities. To turn on the device, you press the on off button. When you do this, the digital display will light. Ensure it is stable before taking any readings. The Viper A Plus is our simplest analog vibration measuring instrument, making it a very cost effective option when choosing a measuring device. The Viper A Plus can measure vibrations from either 10 Hz through to 1 kHz or 2 Hz through to max, depending on the version you order. The Viper A Plus can measure up to 40 kHz, but the default max is limited to 15 kHz by the supplied accelerometer. So this must be changed if measurements above this are required. If another accelerometer is to be used, the device must first be calibrated to ensure accuracy. To take a measurement, place your accelerometer onto the measurement point. Ensure good contact on the surface. Then wait for the reading to stabilize. VMI recommends becoming familiar with ISO 108 3 Use this standard to assess your readings and determine whether further investigation or corrective maintenance is required. The Viper A Plus can also give a bearing condition measurement. This setting takes a reading from the frequency range of 500 Hz to 16 kHz and measures the average change in velocity of the vibrations as the unit G. This cuts out noise and vibrations from machine unbalance and misalignment. To take a reading, simply press the bearing condition button, or you hold the accelerometer onto the bearing the same way as for vibration measurements. The blue BC LED will light, and the digital display will give you a measurement. A high value can indicate poorly lubricated or damaged bearings, and further investigation is recommended. To measure vibrations again, press the bearing condition button once more. VMI recommends consulting this graph which is also provided in your instruction manual when interpreting bearing condition readings. When the battery capacity drops under 10%, the low battery red LED will flash. VMI recommends having spare batteries in stock to ensure continuous measurement. You can access the batteries by removing the back panel, which is secured by two screws. If using rechargeable batteries, ensure they are suitable for use with the Viper A Plus and follow their charging instructions. The Viper A Plus enables you to monitor your equipment and identify a potentially catastrophic failure before it happens, saving you maintenance time and money. BMI hopes you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have other questions regarding any of our vibration analysis instruments or software, contact your local retailer or email BMI. Be sure to check out our website at bmiab.com for more information on our great range of products.